Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and today we're talking about repeatable chapters and some of the changes that are going to be coming with Knights of the Fallen Empire, Knights of the Eternal Throne chapters that we can play after patch 5.0. And um, this is just going to be a recap of the latest dev stream and so for those of you who might not have been able to catch the stream or for those of you who perhaps don't want to go to the 45 minute long video, this is just going to be a really short and concise recap of what was said and some of the more pertinent information. And to be quite frank, it is pretty exciting so stay tuned. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is in the background of this video, you're going to be seeing some gameplay and that is chapter 3 of Knights of the Fallen Empire. Musco was playing this during the stream and this is veteran difficulty. So for those of you who want a taste or kind of want a little bit of a sneak peek of what it's going to be like to fight in veteran mode, this is the footage to look at. And the thing to take note of is first of all, his companion is influence level 20 and his gear is 224 which means it is some of the highest PvE gear that players are going to have when going into this. So if you have, or I think the majority of players are going to have less gear and so it's going to be pretty difficult to get through veteran, veteran mode but we'll talk about this gameplay later right now let's just get right into the basics so we're going to have three different difficulty modes available story veteran and master mode and story and veteran are going to be available when kotet launches and master mode will come later uh, in terms of story and veteran mode, the kind of reasoning behind it was they kind of listened to the community. A lot of the community was saying for Knights of the Fallen Empire, it was just extremely boring because we just had mobs and mobs of sky troopers. We had to defeat them. It wasn't challenging whatsoever or difficult. And so what they decided to do was create veteran mode for those players that want the story level to be more difficult, for those players who actually have to be able to know their rotations, use their cooldowns properly and all that stuff. And I'm hoping, and they didn't mention this, but I'm hoping that in story mode, that means you're going to have less sky troopers because some of us actually just want to play the story and we're not too crazy about the whole, you know, kill the, uh, this mob of sky troopers and run over and kill this boss and kill more mobs of sky troopers. And so I'm hoping that they actually reduce the amount of enemies we have to defeat for story mode, but they didn't mention that so I don't want to, you know, say that's confirmed or anything. But veteran mode Mode is going to be much more difficult. Now, you might, guys might be wondering, well, what is a level of difficulty? It doesn't seem as though, number one, th this doesn't mean there's just going to be more mobs. Uh, as you guys can see from the gameplay here, it's the same amount of mobs as what we played through for Chapter 3 when Knights of the Fallen Empire was first released. Nor does it mean they're going to have more health, and that's a really good thing because that doesn't make it more tedious. It just seems to be that these mobs are doing a ton more damage than they do normally. And so what that means is two things. Firstly, you need to know how to use your defensive cooldowns if you want to do veteran mode because if you don't use them properly or you use them all up too quickly, you're probably going to end up being killed, especially with those really intense boss fights. And the second major thing is you need to know your rotation and you need to be putting out as much DPS as you possibly can. From I think the majority of players are going to be DPS players. And, um, and the thing is, if you don't kill a boss or you don't kill a mob fast enough, you will die. And so you can die from just regular mobs. Like if you just have, you know, three normal sky troopers or one elite sky trooper, uh, they could technically kill you because they're going to be putting out tons of damage. And so you need to know how to use your things properly. And so that's kind of the level of difficulty that's going to come with the veteran mode. And you definitely see that in the gameplay that's being shown here because Moscow often goes down in health really quickly because some mob here or there has an ability that's going to take down like 30-40% of your health and so you need to be able to you know pop your defensive cooldowns right there or you need to DPS them down quick enough such that they don't keep getting those repetitive really big shots on you. Now back to kind of some of the semantics, all 25 chapters from Knights of the Fallen Empire and Kotep are going to be available with these three new difficulty modes. And so you can go ahead and replay these chapters as well. So for those of you who wanted to do Nice of Fallen Empire but with more level of difficulty, this is going to be available for you guys and you can go ahead and replay it. And now obviously with the new Kota chapters that are coming, we're going to have these changes applied to them as well. Now the bonus HK55 chapter, that's only going to be available in story mode, but the cool thing is that is replayable. So we, you know, right now, for example, if you want to play that chapter again, you have to level up a whole new character, uh, do Knights of the Fallen Empire, and um, you know, I, and have the subscriber reward unlocked. But this way, you can just if you if you were eligible for the subscriber reward, you can just replay it as much as you want. Now, since choices are supposed to be a really big thing in Knights of the Fallen Empire, it kind of wasn't. But with Knights of the Eternal Throne, it's supposed to be a really huge thing that affects the way your story goes. And so you guys might be wondering, if you decide to go ahead and replay a chapter, what happens to your choices? And they made it very clear that your first run-through of Knights of the Fallen Empire, Knights of the Eternal Throne, those are the choices that are saved. Then if you go ahead and replay a certain chapter, you can make different choices just to see how the story goes, but those choices will not be saved. And so if you choose to kill someone in one chapter, and that was the first playthrough and then you go and replay and you choose not to kill them well as you go play further chapters you will have been registered as having killed that person and so your choice your, your choices that you make during your first playthrough those are the ones that are saved 
However, let's say you replay a chapter and you get you know, more dark side or light side points or more influence points with a certain companion. Those do keep stacking. And so let's say I just continually replay a chapter and I keep getting like a thousand influence with Lana Bonico. Then I can actually just keep replaying that chapter and keep getting that influence if I want to. And the same thing happens with light, light side, dark side points. So you do get those kinds of rewards for redoing chapters. It's more just the choices don't get saved. Now going back to veteran mode because some of you guys might be wondering what is the benefit of doing this at higher difficulty and I think the first thing is it's just for those people that wanted more difficulty because some people don't mind doing things that are more difficult if it means you know just uh, playing through a chapter that's more enjoyable. Some people don't want to just you know run through sky troopers they actually want that challenge uh, and, and that rush that comes with you know having your health go low and having to pop your defensive cooldowns and stuff like that and I know for a fact that when I was playing through Kotfi I don't think I ever used my defensive cooldowns because I had that OP healer that just you know any companion really at influence level one can heal you in any boss fight or anything. Um, the first thing is Veteran difficulty isn't something that's unlocked, it's available right from the bat, so you don't need to like do story mode first and then that unlocks veteran difficulty or anything, it's just available right there. It's going to be one of the best sources for getting command experience points, so that's a straight up material reward that you're going to be getting for doing this. Uh, there is no other thing really that you can do solo that will give you more command XP than doing veteran. And keep in mind you can do these veteran chapters with a friend, so you can get have a group of four people, that you can jump into a chapter, turn it to veteran mode and play it, and you'll be getting like crazy command experience points. It will be a lot easier though. The The difficulty of the chapter doesn't scale like operations do based upon how many players are in your group. So that's going to be kind of a nice way to get command XP. And it's also kind of once again listening to the community because a lot of people were saying with Knights of the Fallen Empire, considering this is an MMO, they wanted to be able to do things with a group. They wanted to be able to play chapters with a friend. And now that is finally available. So that's really cool. The other thing is this will scale to your level. So for example, if you're in between level 60 to 70 for Nest of the Fallen Empire, the difficulty will scale depending upon whether you're level 60 or level 70, and the same for Kota chapters. Now you can scale down the difficulty level of a chapter while you're playing it. So let's say I jumped into a chapter, I turned it to veteran mode, I thought I was going to you know, be carried by my companion or something, and I'm playing through and it's way too difficult, but I don't want to then restart the whole chapter just to scale down the difficulty. Well, they do have an option where I can just straight up say, in the middle of a chapter, I'm going to switch this to story mode and make everything a lot more easier for myself. However, you cannot scale the difficulty up in the middle of a chapter. So if I wanted to, for example, I'm, I played half through a chapter in story mode and I want to scale it up to veteran mode, I have to restart the entire chapter if I want to do that. And the reasoning behind that they said was they don't want people just running through the mobs and then scaling it up to veteran mode and defeating a boss or something because that will give you tons of command experience points but you didn't really do the full thing. You're supposed to defeat the mobs as well because they're a lot harder to defeat in veteran mode. And so that was the reasoning behind not allowing you to scale up the difficulty during a chapter. However, you can can scale down. So just to recap, there are some material rewards, the primary one being command XP. You will uh, earn tons of command experience points for playing these things in veteran mode. Another thing is achievements. So for those of you who are concerned with achievements, you will have new achievements if you play uh, these chapters with a higher difficulty. And that's the end of the video in terms of information. That was everything that was given to us during the dev stream. I tried to explain it the best I could, but if you do have any questions, feel free to throw it in the comment section. I will be sure to read it and answer it as quickly as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.